It is amazing that in the presence of such robust evidence, a 10-year, £2 million trial that's published in The Lancet with a number of other supporting papers, that there are still people who are not offering laser. And we do have to ask ourselves why. I think a lot of that is inertia. I think it's always difficult for all of us to change our behaviours. Writing a script for drops is very easy. But there's a, it's also because I think there are sort of hidden harms from the medications. We don't see a lot of the harms from medication. We don't see the side effects because the, the patients leave our clinic. I think we also underestimate um, how much eye drops can cause problems for patients. So getting them drop free with primary SLT or DSLT um, is perhaps not appreciated as such a useful goal as it really is. There are lots of other reasons. We have, we have uh, a lot of patients who are treated for glaucoma, open angle glaucoma across the whole of Europe who are not treated by specialists. It's easy for me to talk about gonioscopy and angle surgery and using a gonio lens. But we've got a lot of my colleagues around, particularly around Europe, but around the world, who aren't familiar with gonioscopy, aren't as comfortable as somebody who's doing it every single day. And so I think delivery of laser to the trabecular meshwork for them is more of a barrier. And so I think anything that can reduce that barrier, reduce that uncertainty or that anxiety, make it simpler, make it easier, make it quicker for them to adopt would be a good thing. Thank you.